Gen Con. It's the four best days in gaming. Uh, it's in Indianapolis in Indiana. We're currently on the Played Hat Games booth and we're about to play Battlelands. Ooh. Now, I'm joined here by the lovely Nikki, who if you've been watching all weekend, you will, rem you will remember Nikki. But we played uh, Abomination, Air Frankenstein That's together. Right. And then I got a high five and a hug from you because you are from Texas. That's right. And you guys have been giving us challenges all weekend to do, like the dabbing. If you did, you see us dab. I didn't. I'm actually a dab champion. I thought it was perfect. Oh really? Can you can you dab for us? Do you want no, me to hold the mic? I was just trying to say you did a good job. I'm not oh, gonna thanks. do it. <laughs> um, and yes, we are also joined by Monami, who's going to be your hands for this game. Ooh. Uh, if you do want to. Uh, say hello to us or you know obviously play along with us you can just pop a message in the chat that's what I'm doing here I'm not ordering more food I am just reading your messages um, okay oh new direction says have a good break Davo he's behind the camera all right so Nikki what is it what are we doing what's going on here so Jerry introduced you to aftermath yesterday he did. yes this card game it's a turf war based in the world of Aftermath. It's Ooh. like showing you how the battles would work between the factions. So we've got the same little tiny like rodents and things. Yes, yeah. It's a three to five player game. Yep. And here you will see the different factions you can uh, choose to play. These are the nocturnes. They come out at night and they're okay. on Then we have the blighted that live in the sewers and mm -hmm. they come out and cause chaos. And these are all factions that you can find in Grumple. the Aftermath game. I played Grumple yesterday. Yes, she's my favorite. She's yeah. super cute. Yeah, so these are kind of like the good guys. The okay. Ladies, that you will play these characters in Aftermath. Right. And these are the baddies that you will run into. Okay. And then we have the Junkers who live in the junkyard. Mm. And the Ooh. scaled ones who are like the geckos who will live in the greenhouse in Aftermath. Okay. So we're each going to take a deck here. Okay. I'll can we let Twitch decide which uh, yeah, deck definitely. they'd like? Okay, so Twitch, do you want to be the hoodies, the blighted, the nocturnals, uh, the scaled ones, or the junkers? Uh, pop a message in the chat. That, oh, someone said lizards. I think they're excited about the lizards. Um, <laughs> actual Ethan is excited about the rabbits. I don't see rabbits, so... Oh, are there I rabbits? A oh, a gerbil. Yep. Okay. Uh, so, oh, okay. So we've got uh, a vote for the nocturnes. That's these ones here. So, Twitch, this is yours. Let me hand it over to your hands. Ooh. <laughs> All right. So I, I want to go back to Grumple. I think she's super cute. I'm sorry. I know she's your favorite too. No, but that's okay. I'm going to take I won't her. Don't be too sad. I'll take a blighted. <laughs> okay. All right. Super. So, the game plays with, there are going to be two wars in this game, and each war consists of three battles, and mm -hmm. that's what these are. We're going to be battling for these territories here, and they're all hidden until you're ready to do the first one. Mm -hmm. they, this is the value you are going for, because yep. we're out collecting scrap. Okay. Because in the world of Aftermath, you need scrap in order to survive. Mm -hmm. So we're all going to be fighting for this location. Mm. There are also, there's equipment that we can gain in this battle. Ooh. And they have equipment that will help you mm -hmm. uh, become stronger, or there's, like, mercenaries who join your army. Right. Um, so how this plays is your cards here have a strength. Okay. This is how strong each of these characters are. are. Yep. And the strongest one at the end of the battle will win this location, the strongest army. Okay. So Thumper here, he's worth seven, and he is melee. So you're going to have two rows. You're going to have... A melee row, mm -hmm. and then you're going to have a ranged row. Mm -hmm. Some can do both here. Okay, and so let's just show that to the twi uh, Twitch chat. So we've got this is your melee. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. And then, do we have an example with ah? This is ranged. This is ranged. Perfect. Okay. And the number is how much damage you do. Or it's how, just how strong, how your strong army you is are. And you're wanting to be the strongest. Okay. Now, these range um, from five to seven. Yep. Which will be your victory points. It's the scrap. Yeah. So you may choose to, that you're not really interested in this. You're hoping that one of these will be seven. Right. Okay. So you can choose, like, I'm not going to really put out my good guys until mm -hmm. later. But can it be so, worth less? as well so it could be five or yes they could so oh, okay it's just so it's like, a risk yeah i'm hoping yeah okay maybe there 
And when you get to the second war, mm. you kind of have more idea like what numbers are left. Okay. So you know what could be out. For sure. I'm just going to pop that microphone a little Sorry. closer to your mouth. <laughs> Try to play with cards. I know. It's tough, and isn't it? I've learned that this weekend. Yeah, it's, it's very like, hard uh, to hold cards and talk into a microphone. And then some of your, uh, your uh, characters are going to have special abilities they do. Okay. So, like, mine says each player flips the last unit in their ranged row. Yeah. So that's a way to, like, if you've placed one and I play this in your ranged row, you're going to have to flip it over. So that's not that value's not going to count towards your army right. strength. Right. Got it. So we'll each go around playing one of our characters. Okay. Um, in one of our rows. And you either play a card or you choose to pass. Okay. If you pass, you gain the equipment or mercenaries. Mm. So that's another way, like, if these look good, yeah. you might want to pass so you can gain those. And you can pick any one of these? Well, or? the first person to pass gets the lowest uh, gotcha. n- value of scrap. Because these are All also right. going to be worth points at the end of the game. Okay. So if I went past first, I get the war spork. Yeah. And it adds a special ability. And add, this is the number it adds to your army value. Right. Yeah. So in... Uh, the next battle mm. uh, and then the next person would get the ho- next lowest number if there's ever a tie you get to choose okay yep uh so that's how it, ga- it plays i'm trying to think if there's anything else i'm missing no i think before we start playing i think it sounds really it sounds easy so yeah, well, i mean it's it, really it sounds easy to learn hard to win <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right so who's gonna shall i kick us off yeah go ahead um well I personally, I kind of want this guy, so I'm not going to take this one because I don't want to. So are you passing? You're not going to try to win this territory? No, I'm I'm probably going to try and win. So you'll Uh, have to play at least. Yes. So I'm going to have to play a card because I I don't want to pass and take this. Yes. And I don't want to pass and make this available to someone else. So just thinking tactically, you see. Yeah. (laughs) So I I will have to play a card. all right, let's start out. I'm going to start out low. I'm going to go with... Oh, a, my gosh, I forgot a big thing. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Before the, I play. Is your, this is your hand. Yeah. Once you discard them, you don't get to do... You don't get to pick them back up and put them in your hand for the rest of this war. Oh, okay. So that's another thing is you might want to save your big boys until you have a higher number right. of territory. That's what I was, I was like, what else? Okay. What else? All right. Well, then, in <laughs> case, that's definitely reinforced yeah. my decision. Then I'm just going to pop a little meekling out there. They've got, like, a little dart. They're ready. They're prepared. And I'm going to pop that out, and I'm fighting for Abigail Lane. Of course I am. It's got my name in it. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to put my big boy Thumper out. Mm-hmm. He's worth seven, and he oh, is wow. in melee. You, so you'll kind of put yours this way. So when you do okay. melee, look yep. up here. Okay. 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 So Twitch, what do you want to do? Um, you can play one of the cards in your hand, but don't forget, if you play it, you don't get it back for the rest of this war. Um, alternatively, you can pass. And if you pass, you can then take this war spork here, which will give you a plus two. And it will also allow you at the end of the battle to return this card to your hand. So that seems quite powerful. And those cards that you gain go immediately in your hand, not your discard pile. Right. So they'll be available for the next battle. Okay. Okay. Uh, Actual Ethan says, Thumper! I think they're very excited about Thumper. (laughs) Beat the Willy says, what game are we playing? Just got here. We're playing Battlelands by Pled Hat Games. Um, this is a sort of, it's kind of a spin-off game from your new release, Aftermath. Yeah, it's just a nice little companion yeah. piece, that uh, fast turf war game that yeah. just lets you play with the characters that you don't normally get to play with in yeah. Battlelands. And, or in Aftermath. <laughs> okay, and so it's, uh, it's based in the same world as uh, Aftermath. Um, we're just going to quickly recap the rules uh, just so that everyone at home can play because uh, they, they, they missed most of the rules. You guys weren't paying attention. What? Okay, so basically we're in a big war for various locations. Uh, this location is worth six points uh, if I have it at the end of the game. These are undisclosed. We don't know how much they're worth as of yet. Um, we are playing cards from our hand. Your hand is directly in front of you here. Um, the big number at the top shows how strong your that character is. So that's the strength of your character. I've played out a two. 
uh, and Nikki's played a seven. So in the war for Abigail Lane, I'm currently losing, right? Yes. So exactly. most, the strongest, uh, strongest team gets the uh, um, location at the end. And when do we, when do we say, okay, that's it, that's the end of this? When everyone has passed. When everyone has passed. Okay, so when everyone has passed, that's when the war, the war happens, everything gets a bit scrappy, and then uh, we try and dig for scraps in uh, Abigail Lane. Alternatively, if you don't want to play a card, you can pass, and that will allow you to pick up these great cards from your hand. If you do play a hand, uh, play a card from your hand, you don't get it back for the rest of the battle. And the battle is all three of these. Uh, um, the war is, the war. is three battles, and you're going to okay. do two wars. Two so wars. So after we claim these territories, we'll reset yep. and do another round of three battles. And you don't get your cards back until you've done one whole war. That's right, yeah. Which is all three there battles. There are some cards in here that let you get them right. back, but okay. So rare. That's a quick <laughs> overview. Uh, oh, they're playing Scurrier. Uh, so, Nikki, I have a question for you. If you yes. choose to pass... Mm -hmm. Must you stay out of the that battle? Yeah. Or can you come back into the nope, battle? No, if you pass, you're out of this one. Right. You can come back in when we reveal this territory. Got it. Okay, right. Okay, so you've kind of got to play to stay in the stay in the war a little bit, uh, or stay in the battle uh, to make yeah, sure that you're still you playing. Unless you decide, absolutely, I don't want this location. Yeah. Then you, and then you get have your entire hand yep. plus a new thing for the next battle. Okay. So it's over to me... Um, I'm going to bring Grumple out. Here she comes. She's wielding a little kitchen knife, and she's ready to go. So you see oh. how she's oh she's Malay. So in front of so you. She's going to go up yeah, the top. Just okay. Like that. Yeah. And so, what's the significance between the difference of Malay and range? It's just because you're going to play cards that are going to mess with those rows. I see. For okay. example, I'm going to do. I'll do something that's going to mess with you. Oh. So oh. if I play <laughs> this. This fly swarm, it says each player flips the last unit in their range row. Right. So you'll have to flip over Meekling. Oh, Meekling. I was hoping you would play a range, too, but you didn't. So now you only have a strength of five. Right, okay. So I've been knocked down. All right, then. So, Twitch, what do you want to do next? Do you want to stay in this battle for Abigail Lane, or do you want to pass and take a card let us know in the chat i'm having a look for you now you've got your cards held out in front of you by your magic hands what who, who do these hands belong to uh, mon me would like you to uh, pick a certain card what do you think twitch what is it that you want them to pick talk us through the decision no i won't i don't want to give you any information <laughs> for the cards well we'll We'll close our ears then. As Imorcus is saying, pass and take a card. Uh, Actual Ethan saying, stay. Uh, Dork Tordum saying, pass. Um, wow, you guys want to pass? Okay. Yeah, all right, they're passing. So they're going to get the cool war spork here. Um, well, I'm. So it's just between us. It's now. just between us. So you guys, Twitch, you are out of this one. Uh, you are out of this battle for Abigail Lane. Um, though it does have my name on it, I really wanted. Uh, what's this card called? Scarcross. Um, I really wanted this cute little mouse. So I'm actually going to pass two, and I'm going to take this one. And that one is good because can't be flipped. Right. So yeah. it can't be messed with. All right. So since I'm the last one in. Yeah. I get this because yep. I'll pass two and that ends this battle mm -hmm. you only have five two and I have ten so I win Abigail Lane oh so, so if I'd have passed but I had more than you, you I still would yeah, oh I still would have won if you like have a, a really large strength number and you're like nah you guys can't beat that I'm gonna pass because I want this yeah yeah you can still end up winning all right yep. cool and so okay. these get put in a discard pile yep these over and you may here. get a card that lets you take them back up. Okay. Right. So now we we're going. into a new yeah. battle. We're in the second battle. And this one is uh, a little different because it has a secret mission key Ooh. here. So each of us have this. And what this means is you are going to take one of the cards in your hand and hide it under here. It's like it's one of your uh, members going on a secret mission. Right. Okay. So you want to do a high number sometimes well it's, it's up to you because at the end of the game you get extra points for the person who has 
the highest secret mission number. Right, okay. But you're going to have to get rid of a card. Right, and you don't want to be card. getting rid of the highest ones yes. necessarily yeah. yet because there might be some pretty powerful or pretty points-worthy locations coming up. Yeah, so I'm going to get rid of this All right, well, this fella. I'm going to... Oh, and let me go ahead and flip these over as well. Um, I'm going to pop this one under here. And there's my secret mission. Uh, Twitch chat, what uh, what card do you want to pop, pop under your secret mission? Uh, we've got our most left. So there's Zimorko saying, can you put your most, your furthest right card into the secret spot? They said left and then they meant right. <laughs> so pop it up for the chat so that they can confirm or deny whether that's the card that they would like. This one? Is it that one? Is that the one you want, guys? Let us know. Uh, so, Nikki, while Twitch are deciding, how's the show going? It's going great. Yeah. Uh, this is sold out. Quirky Circuit sold out. Aftermath. Yeah. We're, or not Aftermath, Abomination sold out. So we're, okay. We're very happy. And, like, our games are, people are enjoying them. Perfect. But it's my first Gen Con with Plaid Hat Games, and it's been great. Amazing. And yeah. is this, this game available now? It's not. It's going to be available in about a month. Okay. Yeah, and it's available for pre-order on our website, blackhatgames.com. Okay. So it's available before Aftermath? Yes, yes, it will be available before and then Aftermath Interesting. will come out. Okay, yeah. so it's like if you guys want to play like a little warm-up prequel to yes, exactly. Aftermath. Yes, you pumped up. you like, yeah. I want to know more about these characters. Yeah. You'll get to in Aftermath. Okay. Right, so you guys have made your decision. You've hidden your card. Who kicks off the next battle? Is it you because you won the last battle, or how does that work? That's a good question. I've stumped you. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like, oh. Oh, no. Huh. Well, let me check. Oh, we got the, we're, we're breaking out the rules. Rule, uh, while Nikki checks the rules, I'm just going to say, hey, if you've just joined us, uh, we are live at Gen Con. We are live for, I mean, we've been live for three days. This is our fourth day. In case you can't hear, my voice is struggling. I'm tired, but I'm still so excited to be playing all of the oh. games here. And currently we're playing Battlelands, which is a new Plaid Hat game, which is based in the same world as Aftermath, which we played yesterday with Jerry Hawthorne. If you do want to check that, um, that Aftermath uh, uh, clip out, you can follow us on Twitch. You can basically catch up on the stream from yesterday, but not yet. Don't do it yet. You're still watching us now here, right? Um, or you can check it out on YouTube in about a week's time. Um, we also have Instagram. We have Facebook. Check us out on the social medias. Um, and we will post lots of lovely clips for you. Oh, mon ami, you're oh. dropping the box around. What's going on? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Actually, you passed first, didn't you? So it's you. You're a first player. Oh, so it's the first player card I forgot to put out. Yeah. So it's the first, first person to have passed in yes. the last battle. Mm. Oh, I see what's going on. You're hiding your cards ah. from us. Very clever. Okay, so oh, you can Twitch. See our next location is lower value. Yes, yeah, so the first. next location is only worth five points. Nikki does already have a location that's worth six points. Uh, what do you want to do? You've got your uh, you've got your cards laid out in front of you now, which is much easier, uh, which allows one of me to check the chat and make sure he's up to date with your latest decisions. What are you saying, guys? <laughs> Aurelian looks kind of pained because I think he knows what he wants to do. But he's at the mercy of you guys at home. It's your decision, really. Um, and this is something we actually do quite a lot. Um, Nikki, I don't know if you've ever seen any of our other uh, games that we play. We like to play along with the guys at home. We like to adapt rules a little bit so that they can join in with us as well. So we've I, actually... If I knew you did that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, oh. oh. A creeper. Okay. creepy looking. So we've got a creepy oh, looking yeah. creeper hanging out in front of Aurelian. All right, so... Do I want this one? I don't want to hold out and have no points, though. That's a problem. Well, um, this adds seven to your value. Look at that. Not that I'm trying to get you to pass, but I mean, <laughs> that is pretty good. 
I do think I'm going to do that. I'm going to so do pass. that. So pass. You don't want I'm going to pass. No, I don't want... What, what is it? It's Enjo. No, not into it. Don't want Enjo. All right, but I want it. <laughs> so I'm playing my sewer rat, and I'm going to attach the bolt basher that I got the right. last battle to it. So it... Yeah, your equipment. I'm sorry, you attach it. I should have said you attach it to a unit. Yeah. So. Okay. I mean, you didn't know that. Do you want to attach something to yours? Okay. <laughs> Do they want to? Twitch. Did you want to attach something to Creeper? Um, so you can play uh, an attachment at the same time as your creature. Um, so let us know. Actual Ethan says the Creeper has a great personality, though. So. <laughs> I like it. You guys are like, uh, you're just, you're, you're, you love, you love the nocturnals. <laughs> you're forgiving them anything. Hmm. Oh, no. Triraptor says we'll do it on the next turn. They're not worried. So I've passed. So it's just Nikki and Twitch. It's Nikki v. Twitch. Twitch v. Nikki. <laughs> you got this. Don't worry. <laughs> it's only 500 people. <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> Is it 500 people? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's a bit horrible when you think it's like 1v500, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. Twitch is still a little bit sore, though, from uh, losing. Even though there was 5,000 of them, they lost to God of, uh, God of War earlier. So they're feeling a little bit sore. You? No, we were playing cooperatively, but they, oh, they kept I rolling see, really see. badly and they were making bad decisions. Um, it's all on them. Yeah, they're feeling a little bit sore about it, so they're trying to win all the other games now. <laughs> okay, so what are you going to do? Oh, no, it is. You're right. Aurelian, it's your turn. Along with Twitch. Twitch, what would you like to do? Uh, there's some debate. So you can, can, you can play as many cards as you want, guys. Um, your options are you can pass and take this plastic armor which looks a lot like uh like a bottle cap and a fork and a plastic straw uh and it says if the attached unit strength is six or less it remains in play until the end of the current war and it's going to give you a plus three there as well so that might be an option if you want to pass so you can pass and take this or you can play one of the cards out in front of you here um, so yes, Zimorkus, you can play multiple cards. If you have just joined us, uh, hi, hello, hi. We're Asmodee Live. We're currently on the Play Hat booth playing Battlelands. Um, we're playing along with you guys at home, so you guys are making the decisions. A quick recap of how the game works and how the game plays. We are in a war. We're all little mice and rats and gerbils, and we're in a war to get the scraps in the aftermath of the human life. Uh, the humans are gone, you just want some scraps. Um, so the way this works is that we have, uh, we're battling it out for locations on the far right here. You're currently battling it out for the location of Enjo, which is five points. It's worth five points at the end of the game. Uh, there are three battles in each war and you play two wars in each game. Uh, if you want to be involved in the war what you do is you pop a card down in front of you like you've already done here um, this is a Malay animal and it has the strength of four uh, there are cards that affect uh, whether you know, affect your Malay animals they affect your range animals so that's why that's quite important um, it might be that you want to have a mix so that someone doesn't just come along and wipe your army out I don't really know if that's a tactic you want to do but it's up to you um, so you can pop a, pop a character out in front of you. You can give them an attachment. Uh, alternatively, if you think, nah, you know what, Enjo, it's only got like two on TripAdvisor. I don't want to go there. I don't want to have it. I have nothing to do with it. Thank you very much. You can pass and take the next card along. Oh, look, if you, you <laughs> nope, you're all about Enjo. You want to okay. go to that two-star TripAdvisor hotel. <laughs> all right. Okay, all right. so what have you got going on over there? What's that, what's that happening? Oh, so we have six, right? Yeah, that one's worth six now because yeah, it's yeah. attached to the shakun. And at the end of the battle, we have this card back. Yep. So that will return, but the shakun won't. Yeah. So that war spork is quite powerful because it stays it stays with you. 
Is that true? Uh, the war sport, it will stay with you at the end yeah. of each battle. Wow, so you may as well play it in every battle. All right. Nah. So you pass. I passed. I'm, I'm out. I'm not, I'm not about I'm that two star well. life. <laughs> I'm just put this in my hand. So. Okay, actual Ethan, shout out that. to you who's saying uh, we need to become a hive mind. Um, oh, I'm getting a little insight into your tactics here, Twitch. Ooh, I see. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, shout out to everyone that's joining in. Zimorcus, Doctordum, LXKHN123, uh, Super Shiny Geodude. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Triraptor, thank you for getting involved. Um, hey, I'm not cheating. No, I'm just checking. <laughs> uh, so, yes, Zimorcus. Yeah, so you'll want to pass since you have the highest number. Oh, okay. If I had had the highest number and passed out, you, you would want to put nine for now. I have nine, and you have ten. Uh, ten. So yeah, we so can you'll pass get, and yep. see win this one. Yep, that's right. You'll take that and then win that. Oh, Twitch, it sounds like Aurelian's made a decision for you there. <laughs> and it, it sounds like the right one. Uh, you do have the most strength, but that means that you can still pass on your turn, and you will, you will get this little... Uh, battle tinkerer or bullet tinkerer here and you'll still win the location so is that what you want to do guys i imagine it is because at some point you've got to pass you may as well do it now 100 percent the passing you've got a bullet tinkerer and you win at the enjo location i hope you are super happy <laughs> with your two-star stay <laughs> okay so your war sport goes back in your hands and then you discard those and I'm going, I discard my Bolt Basher that I had attached, but the Sewer Rat gets to remain in play and then until the next time I claim a territory card. So he's just already out there. Awesome, okay. So I get so, a little bit of an advantage. Okay. Uh, Mitford is very excited about your uh, their claim there. They're saying, uh, Bullet Tinker for the win! <laughs> uh, so when do we resolve the secret mission that was That is after part? the second war. Okay. It's after all battles have been Ooh, resolved. Oh, okay. So we pop that yeah. over here. I'm going to move so, yeah, right out of the way. Unfortunately, you don't get that unit back yeah. for this game. Okay. So, uh, Zimorcus would like to know, why does the bullet tinkerer have an X on it? Let's have a look. Because there should be text that tells you how much the X is going to be. X equals the number of cards you have in play. Okay. So, if you put that down, however many you have out, this number gets higher. Oh, yeah. okay. So... And it also has a special... It, it's worth three if the card, if you send this guy out to secret mission. Okay, so your, uh, the bullet tinkerer's strength is dependent on how many other cards you have in play. So that could be really strong. Right, we're on to the, fi uh, the final battle of this war. Ooh. Gutter Doom, worth seven. Seven points. Yeah, so you're this probably... This is the big one. I'm back in. I'm back in the game. A corkscrew arm. Yeah. A taser fist. Yeah. And Gordy. Oh, Gordy's cute. <laughs> Uh, oh, Gordy also cannot be flipped. Yeah, he's minus one. Won't get you any extra points at the end of the game. Mm, okay. So, Right, so yes, I was the first to pass, which means I am the first to go. Uh, Zimorka says, we won another big fight, boys. We only need a strong target now. All right, don't get too confident, Twitch. Nikki and I are still in this game. Well, maybe <laughs> Nikki more so than I. All right coming straight in and bringing out the big guns we've got the messiah boom okay okay oh yeah be afraid <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna just attach this to my sewer rat that's already out and it gives me plus three okay all right so twitch what do you want to do i've got a uh, messiah out who's uh worth six uh nikki's got the sewer rat which is a seven Guys, what's going on? What do you want to put out? Uh, oh, you're feeling confident. Super Shiny Dude says, we got this with Aurelian as our hands. Feeling very confident there. Uh, LXKHN123 says, I think we play, play Firefly if they play Malay. Um, uh, what cards oh, are those? His discard pile. Can oh, you, you look can through look the discard, discard pile? Yeah. Oh, so what's going on here, you guys? Why are you oh, wanting to look at I your discard why. pile? <laughs> mm, I'm a little bit suspicious of this. Not super happy. Hmm. 
Um, can we talk a minute about the artwork for this game as well? Because it's just so cute. It's really, really lovely. Um, who, who, who worked on this? Jimmy Zhao and Bima with the pencil. Okay. They also worked on Aftermath, of course. Oh, yeah. fabulous. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So that's why, I mean, obviously there's the, the a huge crossover there. Yes. Um, and, I mean, we, we loved talking to Jerry yesterday about Aftermath. We always have a blast talking to Jerry. Yeah, he's great. He's so lovely. And he's so, um, he has such a beautiful way of speaking about games and what they do and bringing people together. Yes, yeah. I think it's really nice. Yeah. He helped um, with the development of this game, but mm. the, the designer is actually Andrea Mezzatero. He okay. did. Um, he's also done Crystal Clans for us. Oh, okay. So we've worked with him before, yeah. Oh, nice. All right, what are you saying, Twitch? Oh, oh, they're talking tactics. I so best not check. <laughs> How's it going over there? All right, all right. <laughs> they're taking their time. <laughs> so, Nikki, what are you doing tonight? What, what plans have you got? Oh, I have no idea. We have to tear down all the booths and then oh. I'll probably be tired and fall asleep forever. Oh. <laughs> okay. Firefly drones. What's happening? Each player flips the last unit in their melee row. Oh, oh, that's what I wanted you to do. <laughs> You've been attacked. Twitch, what's Nikki ever done to you? Man. Fine. I mean, I'm fine. I'm, I'm really yeah, pleased. Like, oh, you, yeah, oh, well, never mind. Such a bummer. Well, sh sucks for you. <laughs> All right, so that means it is back to me. Uh, Zimorkas is saying, show them the magic, Aurelian. Oh, dear. All right, here we go. I, I'm going to hedge my bets, I think, and I'm going to, I'm going to pop, I'm going to pop Whisper out. Now, what Whisper lets me do is it lets me return a Malay, uh, someone from my Malay row into my hand. I'm a little nervous seeing how you just lost your your lovely card there. So I'm, uh, I'm poor little Messiah. I mean. Messiah looks like a tough guy, but Messiah's gonna go uh, hide back in back in the in the home. All right. All right. I'm gonna play Red Eye Weir. Yeah. And I'm gonna special ability is if I I can play him to either melee or range. Mm. And so I'm playing him in my range row, so I get to return a unit from my melee row back to my hand. So <gasps> I'm just gonna uh, uh, back up. <laughs> you can't. You can knock Nikki down, but she's going to get back up again, Twitch. <laughs> wow, so that means that you can just play them again, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, LXKHN123 says, oh, no. <laughs> so, Twitch, it's over to you. What do you want to do? Um, this is, there's a big battle going on here for uh, Gutter Doom. Yep, worth the seven. The seven-pointer. Everyone wants it. Everyone wants to be involved. <laughs> Zimorka says, Houston, we got a problem. <laughs> In Aftermath, though, my characters that I'm playing with actually come from Gutter Doom, so I kind of, I want it. Right. You have an affinity with it. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, no. Are you making suggestions? No. <laughs> uh, I thought you were just the hands of Twitch. Hmm. Okay, so what's going on? This one? Yep. The Opossum Brood. Play oh, the there's four of them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what are you on? Three, six, seven, eight. Dang it. Okay. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, well, that's quite a lot of points. I'm not going to let you get away with this. All right. Out comes Scarcross. And you cannot flip Scarcross, so All right. yeah. Scarcross isn't afraid of you guys. Y'all know what I'm gonna do. Sewer rat back on the plastic armor. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you can't take us down, Twitch. It's back to you. Super shiny Geodude says, "Praise Aurelian's advice." Uh, but where's it got you guys? We're still, we're gonna catch up to you. Um, Zamorcus says, "Aurelian is our protege. Don't pressure him, Abby." There's pressure. <laughs> pressure. <laughs> uh, 
So when you don't have any more cards, you have to pass. Yes, yeah. You don't have any more cards? You're running low over there. Uh. <laughs> what do you want to do, Twitch? You've got your cards out in front of you there. I don't know what they are, but you can see them behind uh, the box, the box fort that Aurelian has built for you. Alternatively, if you do want to pass, you would be the first to get Gordy, who is adorable, by the way. Look at this little guy. Uh, he's, he's strong. Yeah, he's got like a little uh, candle on his head. Very cute. Um, <laughs> holding a bomb, so slightly dangerous. Uh, he cannot be flipped. And he is eight strong, but he is worth minus one point at the end of the game. Uh, so something to consider there. But you can pass and take Gordy if you want. Not that I'm trying to lead you. I mean, you do have 12 points, so maybe you're still going to win even if you pass. Oh, no, you're going for 15 points. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. What am I on? Seven. Hmm. Uh, Zimorcus apparently <laughs> trusts you with their lives, Aurelian. How do you feel having 427 lives on your shoulders? Stressed. <laughs> All right. Um, Messiah, Messiah's crawled back out from the hole he hidden. And uh, Messiah's like, you know what, guys? Actually, I've got a bit more backup now. <laughs> I feel good. I'm going to come back out. I'm feeling fine. <laughs> so what All does right. that put me on? 13. What? <laughs> I'm going to play this Sunless in my ranged row. What is Sunless doing? Sunless is looking in the wrong direction and he's just not paying attention at all. He's got a nail or screw. Oh, Sunless is looking pretty, pretty dangerous there. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Guys at home, what do you want to do? Oh, uh, it's your okay. last card. Oh. Oh, no. oh, no. So what does that bring Twitch's total to? Uh, so do the items count as well? It says a number cards. of cards. Yeah, yeah. So it does. So including that one? No, I believe it's just the other ones. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. Okay. And then plus, how many other points do you have there? <laughs> I don't. 20? Oh, 20. Oh, I don't even know. Okay. <laughs> um. Hmm. So I have a question about this. This says flip the last card in your melee row. Is that the last card that you play? That's the oh, last sorry. Equipment. equipment. Oh. Okay, but Which I haven't have. I haven't got one out yet. Yeah, so that, then you won't have so, to. So, all right, fine. All right. I see your bullet tinkerer twitch and I raise you Ringer. Uh so Ringer has actually got a little staple gun with uh, them and uh, they're saying uh Dang. it's yeah, it's plus 7. <laughs> and then I add one to the strength of ringer for each tool I have in the same row. I'm sorry, they are in the wrong row. Pop them down there. Uh, that's going to bring me to seven. Uh, Eleven. Oh, math's hard. Uh, Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. That's going to take me to 24 points. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Pourquoi? Uh, what happened? <laughs> uh, I played ringer with a plus seven staple gum. So I How do you, have, oh, so no, you go. You say, you go. I have no chance of winning, but because this is the end of uh, the first war, I'm going to get these cards back in my hand. And I don't want to pass first because I don't want the negative one in my hand, and you're going to have to pass, so I'm just going to play my last card. So we pass. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well... Nikki, how many points are you on there? Oh, my gosh. I didn't even count. It's not as much as It's not as many as that. Okay, no. so. And we get these cards back, yeah, all of them. Yeah, this is the end of yeah. the third battle. Well, do I want that? No, I don't want that uh, Tassifist because it's only plus four. And right next to it is a plus seven. So I'm going to play Meekling here. We're just going to hang out up top and just adding a little bit of backup, say, yeah. Yeah, take that, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So since these are worth the same amount, I get because I'm going to pass. I yeah. get to choose. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. I'm pretty sure I said that. Oh, <laughs> we're going to check the yeah, video. Check the tape. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fun. Uh, oh, yes. I'm going to take the taser fist. <laughs> uh, Zimorkas would like to give a shout out to Aurelian who's leading us courageously to victory <laughs> uh, uh, debatable you guys <laughs> uh, Dr. Tordum says didn't realize Tinkerer was a character um, Zimorkas says oh boy Abby hurts now mm -hmm, don't mess with me um, <laughs> super shiny dude is calling us bullies <laughs> I'm going to take my plus seven corkscrew arm Thank you very much. And then you want it? And my gutter doom. You may be from gutter doom, but... I know. Uh, you just took it. Yeah. We own we'll this never place now. <laughs> so then oh, that was fabulous. Everything from your discard pile... Yep. ...would go to your hand. And then you would hey. lay out the next three battles. And then at the end of that third one, whoever had the most points would win. Or most right. scrap would win. Okay. And that's it. Well... Do we have time for another battle, or do we need to call it there? Yeah. We need to go? Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. I, I'm sad. But how, who won the game, then? Let's so, just, uh, you would take your hand? No, no. You can't just say Twitch won the game. Yeah. So So you would count up the little gear symbols oh, here. Oh, so the little gear symbols and on the bottom of your one, card yeah. uh, are your points. So I've got seven, eight, uh, none for them, nine... 10, 11, 12. That one, count these up first, and then we'll see who put the highest number there. Yeah. So, so I have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, I've got 12, too. Oh, Ooh. How many do you have? Twitch. 9. Oh, 8. eight. Okay. Oh, yeah, because they uh, cancel each other out. So you've got 8, but we did all have that secret mission. And we put a card away, so the high, the highest number gets it, right? Yes. All right. I've just got a three. Four. Oh, my a gosh. six. Okay, well, give me that rule book. I do not remember how many points you get. <laughs> Hold up, Twitch. Six, you can't just come out oh. of nowhere and win. No way. No. No. <laughs> so we're both on 12. You were on nine. No, eight. eight. But if you get the six points... Oh. He doesn't get six. It's just whoever has the highest wins the secret mission. You'd actually get three. Ha. The secret missions. Oh, so three. you end on 12 as well? Everybody wins. Oh, 11? You're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. So what happened there is Nikki and I won and Twitch lost. Um, yeah. Yeah. I would say that <laughs> I feel really? sorry for you guys, but um, you really you really hurt me at Ticket to Ride. So. You were reading the, the chats. Oh, I wasn't cheating. <laughs> oh, Nikki, that was great. Thank you yeah, so much. That was really good fun.